Pojď dibu! Let me in, we need to talk. Are you fucking serious? Right. Seriously, what the fuck have you been doing? Netflix. Netflix and fucking what? Netflix and Maz. This calls Don't dibble. This Don't stop. This calls Stop. Now is not the time. These shit cunt fish are taking over social media. And you've got to do something about it. Fine. Where are you going? Where are you going? I'm going for a fish. There is no time to fish. And you don't even have your rod. Fine. Fucking Jesus. Another fucking Adrian. That's all we need. You, sir, need Jesus. But it's alright. I'm here. Sick. So Mr. Adrian G on the fucking Wombat is meant to be a YouTube prankster. Racking in 200,000 subscribers, you'd be thinking, this cunt's pretty good. But, after seeing an interview from Today Tonight revealing you're a fake, Dibble was not impressed. But your whole video's a lie, because everyone in it's an actor. Yeah. Yeah. But you haven't revealed that to ever, anyone. Yeah. Because right. all, all the people in it are the thieves in your in your video yeah. are actors. Yeah, right. Is that right? I mean, no, that's not right. Yeah, they are. You literally turned into the heavy breathing cat when they exposed you. So the video that went viral all over the world is called the Real Blind Man Honesty Test. So what he would do is pretend to be blind. Oh, I can't see fucking shit. And he would go up to people with a $50 note pretending it was a five because he couldn't see. And he would ask them to change his $5 note, which was a 50, to see if they would be honest that he was holding the 50. And you'd be thinking, what kind of fucking human would steal off a blind man? That is ridiculous and not be truthful. And then watching the video, you do get a bit of a surprise. You actually see people steal the money. But then, finding out the people who stole the money were actually hired actors. Adrian G, you're a wombat. If you keep doing this shit, you're gonna end up like Soflo and you're gonna get fucking popped. It's not real, it's not real. You're killing them. No, it's just a prank. It's just a prank. It's not real. Fishy tears were shed that day. Soon it's gonna turn to murdering someone. Hey, dude. Hey, dude, what's up? Yeah, man, not too much. Just chilling, killing, literally, and, um,. What have you been doing? I really haven't been doing much. I just doing a bit of editing, just sloughing. <laughs> That's gonna be one of the best pranks of all time. Get up now. Hello. After the interview was over, you QQ'd the building and you started filming. I personally just film, so... So you, you're putting the blame on him? No, well... Dropping him in oh, the yeah, bucket? No, I'm not talking. Yeah, he's putting you in the bucket. <laughs> what are you doing? Why are you filming? You just got wrecked by Today Tonight. There is no coming back from this. I can safely say, if you get wrecked by Today Tonight, you may have to reconsider your career choice. And in an interview from a YouTuber named Danny Duncan, Adrian says, I don't know why the reporter attacked me when there's other bigger YouTubers out there faking pranks as well. Yeah, I, I don't know why the reporter attacked me, man, like a small YouTuber. They attacked you because everybody already knows about them YouTubers. It wouldn't get much good exposure. All the news cares about is views, making cash money, 
and talking shit. Kind of like yourself. Just watch the poll, guys. Oh, Matt, you're so caring. Thank you. Anyway, what's the next one? What's the next one you're doing, boys? You don't want to know. Can I get a part in it? You don't want to know. You don't want to know. But it's okay, because I know. The real blind man Muzz! Honesty test. Hello? Hi. I was just wondering if you could tell me how good my muzz is because I, I can't see. Um, sure. This calls for a muzz. <laughs> Wait, it was just a prank. I'm not actually blind. Can I get my wallet back? Shit. But I will give you credit. You did try. I apologize. I just wanted to start this vlog um, talking about staging the, the blind man honesty test. I don't know, guys. I, f I fucked up. Like... I don't, I don't know what else I can really say. Oh man, I don't know, maybe an apology to your 200,000 subscriber fan base and all the people you took advantage of. And it's funny that you posted this on your vlog channel, which barely gets any views. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, like, like, I don't know man, like, I'm just, I'm just sorry, I like fucked up. Actually, no, I don't think you're sorry at all. I think you're just scared sharding yourself because you betrayed your whole fan base and you've let your country of Australia down. We're not happy with you, mate. Yeah, so what I've done what I've done is um, I have listed some links down below of the videos I've staged. Wait, what? But yeah guys, I'm really sorry, like Fucking Jesus mate, do you want Yeah what? Can you can you not? Fine. Fucking hell. As I was saying, these are the videos he openly admitted to being fake. If you watch these and be like, fucking these are pretty good, these are fucking shit, bruh. Think again. Dropping your phone in public prank. Fake. Epic dildo prank. Fake. Nice head. Dropping my wallet in public. Fake. Condom broke during sex. Fake. I like how you disabled the likes. I wonder what it was. Mr. Adrian G, you're a fucking one, but you think you're famous as well. Are you trying to get famous on YouTube? I am famous. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I am famous, really. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> but to be honest, guys, I'm actually over this fake prank shit. If you're a prankster and you're getting paid for it, it's your fucking job to come up with originality and not fake your shit and betray your fans. If I personally just wanted to watch some fake acted scripted shit, I'll just watch a movie. Backdoor Sluts 9 or Free Willy. Would be better than half the shit I'm seeing from you pranksters now. But Adrian, honestly man, I think the whole of Australia, and as well as your fan base, would love to hear your response on this and your explanation. Adrian G, I'm a fucking wombat. Please respond. Welcome to hell, who gives a shit? So it looks like Mr. Percy English has been popped in the snout. Again. And he's also pulling the piss by teaming up with Fortifish and creating an app called Thugworm. But we'll get to that one in a minute. What did I do? Really? What's the problem I did? Really? 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 That was a solid head kick, 10 out of 10. I will give you that. Someone's been watching a bit too much Ronda vs Holly. But he didn't fall over. Or he didn't get knocked out. He must have been wearing his mop bucket for extra protection. So I have no idea why you got popped, but your only response was, What did I do? What did I do? Oh man, I have no fucking idea. Maybe making the most shittest fucking videos, pissing off everyone, including two next door neighbor countries, New Zealand and Australia. Just maybe, Percy. Just maybe. So I've pretty much covered so much shit about Moped already, and Big Jimbo's pretty much covered everything I've said. But you're just making it so much more worse for yourself, mate. Play it a bit. What did I do? Really? Really? What did I do? Really? What the fuck did I do? Really? Really? But the thing is, we don't actually know if this is Percy. He does the same hair flick. And he has the same squeaking voice. 
So we're just going to imagine it is. I'm pretty sure it fucking is, but. But we also don't know if he was being a cheeky cunt prior to the poppage, or if the guy who kicked him was just being a dick. But who knows, maybe he was just like, hey man, check out this fucking sick at me and Fortifish mate. It's fucking. But all in all, if this was Percy and you popped him while he was just standing there, that was a bit fucking rude, mate. But if you started shit Percy, well then that's your own fault, mate. I'd fucking told you this shit would happen. I told you. GG. And of course you'd grab a scooter. I bet you like riding that to the nearest gay bar while feeling the wind on your vagina. That's nah, right. I used to ride scooters too. When I was a shit cunt. Still am. Don't think about it too much, too much, too much, too much. Now moving on to this amazing app, I cannot wait to play. You know something's wrong with society when a regurgitating meme machine to mop teams up? This is the ad Percy made for it. It's fucked. Hey guys, Percy was here. I used to be a shy, timid 13 year old. And now you're a shy, timid fuckhead. Until I started playing Thugworm. You get money and diamonds. In this game, you collect money and diamonds. You just said that. Man, you've got me hooked. Sign me up. I've been telling all my friends. Friends. At what? The fucking mop shop. I'm a fucking thug! Stop! We need to fix this. I'm a fucking thug! That's much better. Oh look, he's done another fucking advert. This one's better than the first. Prepare your Angus. Hey guys, thug head here. Hey guys, it's fuck head here. Fuck God! Why didn't you Hulk smash him like that when you got popped? Mop attack would have been super effective. I'M A FUCKING dog. We know you're a fucking dud person, you didn't take us long to figure that one out. GET 80 OR MORE! YOU CAN'T! BECAUSE THAT'S MY HIGH SCORE! 80 OR MORE? But that means you'll be on the high scores. Well now you're a lying mop. Well done Fortify, awesome business partner you got there, couldn't have chosen a better candidate. Well done you guys for being the cancer of the web once again. Oh wait. We've got some ads from Fortify now. Fuck. Oh my god! Don't distract me, don't distract me. Don't you distract me! How much did you pay her? Did you pay her in memes? That is so fucking cringe. You did not just do the don't jump. I'm fucking done. But I'm not done. We need to experience this game for ourselves. I'm sorry guys. We're doing the dirty. I'm doing the dirty. Let's try this shit box out. Fuck. Well great, fucking ad already. How much did you earn then? Two bucks? Should call this fucking ad worm. Right, so what that pretty much is, is 8-bit snake that I used to play on my indestructible Nokia phone. You've literally taken the whole concept, and you've fucking killed it. But you know what you should have done? Don't worry, I can save you. Jesus Dibble is your saviour. You should have had a power button that goes. This calls for a maz. <laughs> Worm, I rate one out of five because I feel sorry for you guys. So if you guys really want to support someone who shares their Instagram on photos of the Paris attacks just for likes, go ahead. But if you want to give the app a proper review and a comment of your choosing, go ahead. I'm not stopping you. Just make sure you don't download it because from every download they get revenue. You've already seen what it looks like and you know their mindset behind it all and I've already given them my two cents. That's all they deserve. GG. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, check out my other videos. That way I can live my dream of being a cheeky cunt YouTuber, eating Cheetos, and violently masturbating at home. You know, don't do that already. Fortify and Percy, your app is shit. Come at me, bro. Come at me, bro.